Nigeria has announced $5.8 billion deal for record-breaking power projects. The record being broken is for the number of times the contract has been awarded. <laughs> well, supporters of Senate President Bukola Saraki recently clashed outside a court in Ilorin with supporters of Omo Ele Shore, the publisher of Sahara Reporters. Let us thank both sides for giving unemployed quarants temporary employment. Part-time clashers. I salute you now. <laughs> Fellow Nigerians, the president has left the country again. <laughs> hey, hey, but fear not. Don't be London, they go. <laughs> yeah. This time he's attending the United Nations General Assembly in New York. But after leaving New York, uh, the president is slated to pass through London. Uh, no word on when he will be back in Niger. <laughs> That's the debut when he reached London. <laughs> well, the UN General Assembly is an, annual, is an annual meeting of uh, world leaders. They come with their entourage, make boring speeches. The representative from Cameroon was rubbing his eyes. Or sometimes bombastic speeches. Then they party and go back to their countries and try to hold on to power <laughs> so they can come back and do it again next year. Just like August meeting, but in September. <laughs> See groove. <laughs> well, on President Buhari's previous two trips abroad, he left some key aides behind in Nigeria and boys were not smiling. I, I, it's, a, it's a matter of uh, my personal decision. It's a matter of whatever. So this time, they were excited that he carried them along. So excited, in fact, that they began to say some really strange things once they landed in New York. As Nigerians, the fact that our president is here in person is a big, big, big achievement. Yeah. <laughs> What an achievement. Yes, nice shirt, by the way, Uncle Femi. Uh, enjoy your Easter code. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, President Buhari's aides kept hyping the fact that he was slated to be the eighth speaker at this year's General Assembly. Eighth. Such an achievement. Even though our small brother, Guinea, was number five on that list. <laughs> the federal government had been complaining about fake news and hate speech in recent days. So some crafty Nigerians decided to give them a combo. They put fake news and hate speech together and created a fake speech. <laughs> yeah, very innovative and well done. Anyway, Tuesday finally came and the president stepped up to the podium and gave a very strong speech about dealing with Nigeria's problems. We will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket men, major portions of the world are in conflict, and some, in fact, are going to hell. Uh, sorry, uh, that was not our president. Uh, so uh, President Buhari stepped up to the podium and gave a very strong speech about dealing with Nigeria's problems. These inequalities and gaps are part of the under line roots of competition for resources, frustration and anger leading to sparring instability. Yes, <laughs> that's my president. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he was talking about Boko Haram. I'm sure. I know Korea. I know Korea. Wait, did he, s did he say not East Nigeria? I know Korea. Uh, okay, uh, but I can bet he used the opportunity to um, address the situation in Abia State, at least. To contain the threat posed by Al-Qaeda. Okay. Uh, maybe it's our fault that the president does not want to talk about our problems in an international forum. The last time he tried it... Calling you fantastically corrupt. What is your reaction to that? Well, um... I think he's been honest about it. Nigerians almost ate him raw. <laughs> so this time, President Buhari talked about our problems small. The international community came together within my own region to assist the countries and communities in the Sahel and the Lake Chad regions to contain the threat posed by Al-Qaeda. 
Then he deflected from our problems by pointing fingers at North Korea. <laughs> but Baba, <laughs> please small small with North Korea, I beg you, Kim Jong Un, they find where to test the missiles. <laughs> yeah, no put us for trouble. Never recover from Python dance. Hope we no go do nuclear dance. <laughs> <laughs>